They tell me that I shouldn't eat low-fat spreads or margarines that are high in fat and low in trans because they're ultra-processed, they contain additives. Where I come from, these products have lowered blood cholesterol by 50% and made a very significant contribution to reducing cardiovascular disease. They also tell me that commercial toddler food is ultra-processed. We shouldn't feed it to our children. And we'll ask them later why, because I don't understand. The, adv uh, the people who promote ultra-processed foods always talk about natural. Well, let me give you some examples of how natural is not always great. In the United States, you fortify your flour with folic acid. You don't add the folate that's in present in foods in the breakfast foods you had this morning because that folate is very poorly absorbed. So what the brave scientists did was they took a folate from plant foods and they lobbed off two little molecules. They invented a thing called folic acid. It's rapidly absorbed, rapidly transformed into the um, effective metabolite, and it has reduced the incidence of spina bifida by 50%. Spina bifida is a disease that confines people to wheelchairs, <clears throat> doubly incontinent. So that's, that's a win-win. That's a now, our health of our, our heart and our brains requires omega-3 fats, and these are derived from fatty fish. The fatty fish dine on marine algae, but with declining fish stocks, the environment couldn't sustain a global supply of these fatty acids. So instead, the smart engineers took the algae out of the marine, out of the oceans, grew them in big bioprocessing units, feed the output to farmed fish, and hey presto, problem again solved. Now, turning to food additives, they tell me that lecithin is uh, found in these spreadable fats is bad for my gut, it, it, it will erode the lining of the gut. A recent French study said, showed that from industrially prepared foods, the intake of lecithin is 50 milligrams. Now, ladies and gentlemen, one hen's egg, one hen's egg contains three times that amount. I had two eggs for breakfast and I feel good. Um, I just want to finish by saying that the future will demand plant-based foods more and more. And a recent study looked at the, the proportion of ultra-processed foods in the diets of omnivores, flexivores, vegetarians, and vegans. And they found that as you moved upwards in the groups uh, consuming most plant-based foods, ultra-processed foods went up. Very simply, just like you can't make an omelet without cracking eggs, you can't make plant-based foods without processing, processing engineering and processing aids. Thank you.